living in Orkney, you're surrounded by the sea. I mean, it's long been uh, part of Orkney's history to be intimately connected with the sea, whether it's whaling, oil, Hudson's Bay Company, or just the actual artists that are living here and working here and, and painting the sea. The sea is all around us. It's, it's there and it's to be used. I think Orney is quite unique in that there is extremes of weather and there's also extremes of tide and it gives EMEC a good grounding. If it works around Orney then it should work most other places. Marine energy is a continuously replenished source of renewable energy that's stored in the sea as a consequence of its motion or its position. Wave energy is effectively old wind energy, so waves are formed by wind blowing across the water causing ripples which then turn into waves and that movement of the surface of the water, just as we're seeing here today, allows machines to be built which can exploit that energy so that they flex or bob up and down and that movement is then turned into electricity. Tides are formed through the gravitational effects of the sun and the earth and the moon, and the moon particularly going around the earth. That causes a bulge in the water surface of the seas, and that water then has to escape around various headlands and islands, like here in Orkney. And so that water rushes through gaps in the islands, causes a very fast movement of water. And we're building machines and placing machines in that to extract energy and generate electricity. I've worked on the sea and under the sea all, all my the sort of working career actually. I just um, love the open space and I always have been interested in what's, what lies beneath. There's a lot of raw energy out there. The tidal flows around Orkney are notorious. The Pentland Firth is feared by many a sailor. The waves that are generated through the lows that come in through the Atlantic. So they were well set to actually produce a lot of power for the United Kingdom. We're here at Villiers Crew, which is the wave test facility, and we're standing here on top of the substation. We've got four cables which radiate out from the beach, and each of those cables goes to about the 50 metre mark, uh, 50 metre depth, that's about two kilometres offshore. We are going to be putting wave energy machines onto the ends of these cables and the electricity they generate will then flow down the cables through the substation we're standing on and then into the national grid. Wave energy is another true renewable. It is generated by the elements and uh, as such requires no fuel, nothing to be replenished or grown. And because it's offshore, it's away from land and away from population, its visual impact is very low. Richard and a lot of the guys that you would meet out there in the sector served their time here. You know, they made these things and it's that artisanal skill that's now evolved into an industry. Emex is essentially here to help the industry. We can help devices come from a, an advanced prototype stage to test an Emex, and if it can survive in the sea here, then they can go commercial. The most memorable moment was actually seeing Palamas at full scale in the sea at Orkney on the day that Emex was opened. We're going to be putting quite a number of different types of devices in the sea, some that float and flex, some that sit on the bottom and bob up and down, some that swirl backwards and forwards in the waves. And at the moment we really don't know which is going to be the best one. And things will change. I'm quite sure the machines that we're putting in now are going to look very different to the machines in 20 years' time that we're putting in the water. The marine environment is important to the people in Orkney and in, in Scotland as a whole. And working in this developing industry, every day is a new day, you're always learning. It's great to be in something so exciting that's constantly evolving and growing.
if we can get 15 to 20 percent of the UK's electricity supply out of these waters, then that's going to be a massive benefit to the economy as a whole. There's clearly the potential to both build an industry here, to export that technology to the rest of the world, and to generate massive intellectual capacity. So I think the future is extremely bright for marine energy, and particularly in northern Scotland.